In case you didn't know, Naomi Osaka is a superstar pro tennis player with a successful career. Throughout it all, she's managed to find a luxury estate in Beverly Hills, California to call home. In fact, the place was previously owned by pop star Nick Jonas. Nick Jonas dropped $6.5 million on this incredible home in April 2018, just one month before he and his now wife Priyanka Chopra started dating publicly. It likely wasn't a fit as he sold it to Naomi only a year later. In October 2019, Naomi dropped $6.9 million for the 4,129 square foot home that boasts five bedrooms and five bathrooms. I'm telling you that backyard and pool is not something you want to part with. Just wait and see for yourself. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. At such a young age, Naomi Osaka has already had quite the lucrative career with a net worth of $25 million. In fact, in 2020, Osaka was the highest paid female athlete with her net worth just jumping to $25 million from just $8 million in 2019. I mean, when you consider her career earnings were about $7 million in 2013 to $8.8 .8 million in 2018 and $24.3 million in 2019, there's reason to believe that her earnings and net worth will just continue to skyrocket. After bursting onto the scene professionally in 2018, within two short years, Naomi quickly became one of the highest paid female athletes in the world. She achieved that feat after earning approximately $40 million between June 2019 and June 2020. She out-earned the previous long-standing highest paid female athlete, Serena Williams, by $5 million. Osaka has been endorsing brands on the side as well. She has Yonex and Nike as her sporting equipment and international brands like IMG, Nissan Motor, Citizen Watch, Shishido, Wow Wow, Al Nippon Airways, Mastercard, and Procter & Gamble too. Furthermore, Naomi partnered with Nissan Foods. In 2020, she earned a total of $16 million from endorsements alone. You go, girl. Osaka's first home was in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, but it was only a matter of time before she made the upgrade to her gorgeous Beverly Hills pad in 2019. This Benedict Canyon area residence is a stunner and sits on a ridge overlooking the surrounding peaks. With the sky being the limit, it's only a matter of time before Osaka increases her real estate portfolio. Hey guys, it's Karen. I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. And today, Day, it's on tennis playing superstar Naomi Osaka. She's still young and she only has her current mansion in her real estate portfolio, but for someone in their early 20s, it's impressive to say the least, much like everything else this athlete does. We'll check out her sprawling estate with the Hollywood history and luxury features throughout. On this channel, we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered about their fashion or purchases, like how much Lady Gaga's beloved Frenchies cost? We recently started a new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. Join us and be sure to subscribe. And in addition to showing off her expecting tummy with the belted waist, it also ties her to her home on the west coast. Let me explain. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Naomi Osaka's first real estate splash was a stunning Beverly Hills home that she snagged in 2019 for $6.5 million. Before this, she was living in Florida, likely with her family, so it made sense she wanted to spoil herself with a brand new home. The home features 4,129 square feet of space and boasts five bedrooms and five bathrooms. What was pretty odd is that Nick Jonas dropped $6.5 million on this home in April 2018, just one month before he and his now wife, Priyanka Chopra, started dating publicly and he sold it so soon. Clearly it wasn't the right fit for the couple as he sold it in July 2019 for a 400k profit, 6.91 million. Located high in the mountains above Beverly Hills in a semi-remote corner of the LA neighborhood known as Beverly Hills Post Office, this Benedict Canyon area residence sits on a ridge which boasts amazing views overlooking the mountaintops. The home was originally constructed in a no specific style but the 1965 built pad was completely completely renovated in 2015 by LA nightlife entrepreneur Jason Lev with the help of the architecture firm Space International and the design team at Grounds of LA he was able to transform the basic structure into a slick minimalistic residence this ultimate modern home combines luxe materials and sets the theme for a classic indoor outdoor feel typical of Los Angeles and the theme carries through Naomi's abode the home features elevated ceilings and oversized windows which allow for an 
abundance of natural light throughout the residence. The glass sliding floor to ceiling windows make the place airy and roomy and you get terrific peak views virtually from every room in the home. There is wide plank flooring throughout and it's highlighted by extravagant white oak in the living room. The custom milled interior paneling and cabinetry is crafted of beautiful grained wood just like the exterior fencing, decking and siding. Guests lucky enough to visit are greeted to a grand entry to both a formal dining area and living room. The common spaces are full of elegant glass walls and decked out with a mix of chic artwork and potted plants. What's extra luxurious is that guests can enjoy both the dining and living areas with the outdoors with the simple click of a button opening the retractable walls. Then there's a library family room combo hidden behind the great room which features both colossal bookshelves and a flat screen television perfect for binging televised sporting events or Netflix shows. In addition, the room features a fireplace and desk where we're willing to bet Osaka has signed an endorsement deal or two. When you hustle as hard as Osaka, you're gonna need a dope kitchen to cook up a storm and this one is pretty unique. The kitchen features stainless steel appliances, but it's super minimalistic, likely more than you'd expect. It seems that the basic kitchen must have some hidden features since they're hard to see if they even exist. With five bedrooms total to choose from, Osaka's master suite appears to be minimalistic, much like the kitchen and the rest of the house. However, this doesn't make it any less sprawling. Her bedroom features gorgeous canyon views, custom fixtures, large glass sliding windows, and a private terrace. The attached bath is ultra modern too with dual sinks, a huge standing shower and a freestanding spoon tub. Other luxe amenities include a detached guest house that features a tranquil living space and comes with a cute kitchenette with glass sliding door to the terrace. Now as beautiful as the interior of the home is, the exterior is pretty remarkable as it features a substantial terrace and infinity pool. The terrace and infinity pool combo creates a private courtyard experience and comes complete with outdoor furnishings, mahogany wooden deck and spa perfect for relaxing. I would go as far as to say the pool and yard is the highlight of the property, it's amazing. In addition, the backyard boasts the jacuzzi which is perfectly sheltered by a soaring crown. You'll be happy to know that Osaka knows how to work hard and play hard as the backyard features an outdoor fire pit and entertainment system if she wants to entertain guests. With the California Peak backdrop, her backyard is the most excellent place to unwind after killing it on the court. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a look at Naomi Osaka's home in Beverly Hills that she grabbed off of none other than Nick Jonas. After checking it out, what did you guys think? While her home is minimalistic and super modern, it had a ton of gorgeous features. I think the most impressive of them all was definitely the infinity pool though, but I like the whole yard. I'm kind of torn between hanging out in the pool or by the fire pit for hours. What did you guys like best about Naomi's Beverly Hills estate? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Subscribe to my personal